Okay, so this video here is on how to balance a lever system. So this is part of uh, a question that's been traditionally in um, Unit Standard 21908. And there's a couple of questions on how to balance a lever. So this drawing here, if you can imagine it represents a seesaw. And we've got a person out on this end and a person out on this end. And what we have to do is to get the lever to sit level. We don't want it to come down on either side. And what it's comprised of is a distance out from the centre. So distance, uh, which is always in metres. And a force on the end. So uh, force, and you will remember that force is always in newtons. So N for newtons. And on this side you've got D times uh, force on the other side as well. So what we have to do is to get it to balance. So what we do is we take the clockwise motion, so you can imagine this force uh, person putting weight on this here, so it's going to go in a clockwise motion. So clockwise motion must equal counterclockwise motion. This person on this end forcing it down this end, so uh, counterclockwise. So that's how the system actually looks and you can determine. So let's say on this side, the distance from this end, uh, from the center out, is 600 millimeters. So we've got 600 millimeters. Sorry, need to put another zero in there. I'm gonna rub that out and start again. It will smear, but that's okay. So 600 millimeters. And the force, well, we'll say that the person weighs 100 kilograms. And the way we, would de way we determine a force from 100 kilograms, so force, remember, is in newtons, and that is comprised of uh, the weight in kilograms times uh, acceleration, which is um, gravity in this case, which is 9.81 uh, metres per second squared. So in this case, 100, I'm saying this person weighs 100 kilograms. So 100 times 9.81 means that the force in newtons is 981 newtons. So we've got 981 newtons here. And let's say that the uh, distance out this side is 400 millimetres. And we wanted to uh, determine the force. So we're looking for the force. So force times distance equals force times distance. So in this equation we've got, uh, and you want to convert it to metres. So remember to get um, 400 millimetres into metres, we simply divide it by 1000. That'll give us 0 0.4. So 0 0.4 times uh, question mark equals 600 in uh, metres is 0 0.6 times 981. So what we have to do is isolate the question mark on one side of the equal sign to find it and get everything else over onto the other side. So in order to uh, isolate the question mark, we need to divide this by 0 0.4. And if we're dividing this side by 0 0.4, we must divide this side by 0 0.4. So 0 0.4 divided by 0 0.4 cancels out becomes 1 over 1. 1 divided by 1 is 1. 1 times a question mark is simply a question mark. So we have a question mark equals 0 0.6 times 981 divided by 0 0.4. So I'm going to do that on the calculator. So uh, turn it on. So we've got um, 0.6 times 981 equals divided by 0.4 equals so in this case, um, this, this answer here comes out to, what did I say? Uh, 1471.5 newtons. So if you wanted to divide your 1.1471.5 uh, divide by gravity, uh, yeah, 9.81. That actually tell us how many kilos this one weighs. So this one was 100 kilos. So on the calculator, 
divide that by 9.81 equals and it's 150 kilos so this one here would be 150 kgs this one here is 100 kgs force times distance force times distance so with this uh, next system here I'm going to put some dimensions on it I'm going to say it's got a force acting on it at this point from this from the pivot point to the end here it's going to be 0 0.45 meters and this is going to be 300 newtons uh, I'm also going to have a force going in at this point here and I'm going to say from the pivot point across to here is 0 0.55 meters and the force on that is going to be um, 620 newtons and out on the end here we're going to have a force coming down here uh, from the pivot point across to this point here is going to be 1.2 meters and we need to determine the force at that point to balance the system so we've got counterclockwise equals clockwise to get balance so for the counterclockwise these two forces are going in counterclockwise we've only got one force going clockwise so we can balance it so on the basis of what we've got here counterclockwise we've got 300 newtons times the distance from the pivot to the end here of 0 0.45 meters put that in brackets because we need to add it to the next one so the pivot to the point is uh, we've got 620 newtons times a distance here of 0 0.55 meters and it must equal what we have on the other side so this is our counterclockwise here so clockwise we've got uh, remember that we're looking for force times distance so we've got 1.2 meters times the force and that's what we need to determine which is in newtons so uh, what we need to do is isolate the force on one side of the equal side and get everything else over to the other side that means that we have to divide 1.2 by 1.2 meters and if that's we're doing that on one side of the equal sign we must do it on the other side as well so this is 1.2 meters here as well these two cancel out so what we have is the top line divided by the bottom which equals the force in newtons so onto the calculator turn it all on get it going so what we've got here is 300 and it's got to be in uh, newtons times 0.45 and I'm going to push plus, I'm going to actually put another bracket in there, I'm going to point uh, 620 times uh, 0.55 close bracket equals and then I'm going to divide that by 1.2 and that tells me that we have 396.66 so this is 396.67 repeating uh, and that is in newtons so that's how we can determine what it is if we've got two counterclockwise going one way and one clockwise they must balance so in the um, test paper 21908 there is a question that relates to that this is how you do it uh, to balance your system so have a look at that and hopefully it will help you and I will leave that one there for you thank you